What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel, we're bringing you a Crusader Aegis of Valor build set. I know we've gone over this build in the PTR and we've also gone over it as far as your Hadra's Gift starter, but I wanted to do a complete build guide for you for Thor speeds for the Crusader if you are playing it this uh, season 28 this season now it is unfortunate that we didn't get the ability put onto our flail of the charge which is really unfortunate but let's go over everything that you're going to need to dominate with this build in season 28 okay so even though we don't have the power from last season i've been testing this and we're still able to hit two minutes or just over sometimes sub two minutes uh gr 90s which is our goal here okay so you're gonna need five pieces of the agus of valor set where the two-piece set is attacking with fists of the heavens empowers you allowing heavens excuse me fury to deal 105 125 percent increased damage over five seconds stacks three times okay this is huge Four piece hitting with a fist of heavens returns five wrath and reduces damage taken by 1% for 10 seconds, stacked 50 times. This should almost always be up, guys. And then for the six set piece, you increase the damage of fist of the heavens and heavens fury by 20,000%. Now we are running both. Now, as far as any changes in season 28, nothing happened to the Crusader. All we did is we lost the power from the Angelic Crucibles last season. Okay, so that is what you're going to need. That's the build. So what we've done is to maximize its damage. We've combined it with the Guardian set, which gives you that 100% additional of your base strength, dex, vent, it, and all that good stuff. Uh, and then I paired it with the Aquila for the damage redu reduction. Okay, so we're all pretty much going to always be above 90%, 92% of our primary resource, which is our Wrath. So we get that 50% damage reduction. Okay, now you don't have to do this. You could just run the Breastplate and be fine. Nothing wrong with that. But I like this just for the added effect because we are running the Ring of Royal Grand Door. Okay, we've combined this with the Squirt's Necklace and Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac as well as Stone of Jordan. Okay, uh, scores for double damage, Obsidian Ring to help with our cooldowns for our abilities, and the Stone of Jordan just for our elemental damage. Although you could you could swap out that for uh, COE would, would be just fine. Um, or if you wanted to run something like um, Unity along with your follower for even more damage reduction, like that's fine too. Okay, uh, our legendary gems that we have are Bane of the Trap for double damage, Zaya Stone of Vengeance for more damage, and then uh, Gogok of Swiftness for attack speed, but more importantly, the cooldowns, okay? Now, we have combined this with the uh, Norvold's Fervor, Fervor, Fervor set, guys, where it uh, increases the duration of Steed Charge by two seconds. In addition, killing an enemy reduces the cooldown of Steed Charge by a second. And then you gain 200% increased damage while Steed Charge, uh, while you're using it, and then five seconds after it ends. So we're going to be very, very fast, and we're going to be able to get around the map really, really quick. Okay, uh, we got um, Diamond in there for cooldown, and then we got um, Rubies for strength, which transitions to armor. Okay, in the cube, guys, we got Dark Light for Fist of the Heavens now cast twice and deals 1,000% extra damage. This is huge. Uh, the Kazakh Court of Righteousness, Fist of the Heavens costs are reduced by 40%, and then it deals 170% more damage. Vital. And the Ring of Royal Grandeur to bring the two sets together. Okay. Now, in our skills, guys, we do still run Heaven's Fury, although this slot is free. You do not have to run Heaven's Fury if you don't want to. Uh, I like to have it just as some added damage or some flavor, but you can swap this out for anything that you feel comfortable with. Um, Fist of the Heavens is going to Fissure is going to be doing all of our damage. We're just going to call this down and kill everything. Then we got Steed Charge Nightmare for the fire damage. As our path we're going over does fire damage. Although you could do Draw and Quarter, which is holy damage, which will have chains and drag enemies with you, which is really cool. Iron Skin Flash, so that way we have um, even more damage reduction. And then if we take damage while Iron Skin's active, we get a move, uh, move um, movement speed increase by 60%, which is awesome. And then Laws of Hope, Wings of Angel for more movement speed, which is really good. And it gives us some healing over time. And then, of course, Akras Champion Prophet, okay, for the additional damage reduction and Wrath Regen. Into our passives, we have Heavenly Strength for uh, increased damage because we are rocking a two-handed weapon. A long Arm of the Law, so it increases the um, duration of Laws of Hope. A finery, which is really just, uh, just an overall OP passive, gain 1.5% strength for every gem socketed, which is everything. 
And then we have Holy Cause, which um, the amount of damage dealt by my weapon is increased by 10%. And then whenever I deal Holy Damage, I'm healed. So we're going to be very tanky, very fast, and heal over time. So that is the build, guys. Now, a few changes that you can make. If you want to run Captain Crimson's instead of Guardian, you can. You do lose a lot of damage, but it is also very viable. You can run Captain's Crimson's, especially if you're having trouble keeping your skills up. But you shouldn't you shouldn't be able to have too much trouble with that with the Gogok of Swiftness as well as Obsidian Ring of Zodiac. But you do have that option. You can run it, and then you would swap in the Bracer of Fury for more damage with your Heaven's Fury. But I like this build, it's much faster and is not as clunky. It flows very good. All we're doing is Steed Charging, keeping our these three popped at all times and just Fist of the Heavens. Uh, now, as far as your stat priorities, guys, you're gonna want Strength on the Helm, Strength, Crit Chance, Increase uh, Fist of the Heavens damage. Shoulders, you want um, Strength, All Resist, Cool Down, and then Resource Cost Reduction, not Vitality. Uh, in the gloves, you want crit, crit, cooldown, strength. Uh, in the armor or your chest piece, you want strength, vitality, armor. Uh, in the squirts necklace, you want, this is a really bad one, but you want strength, crit, crit, or you want um, attack speed, crit, crit. In our bracers, lightning damage, strength, vit, crit chance. In our belt, strength, vitality, all resist, life. In our pants, strength, vitality, all resist. Boots, you want strength, vitality, all resist and then Fist of Heaven's damage. Um, in our rings, we want attack speed, crit chance, reduce cooldown. And then here we also would want lightning uh, skill damage. Uh, and instead of strength, you want cooldown or attack speed and then elite damage. In our offhand and our shield, we want strength, all resist, crit chance, Fist of Heaven's damage. And then in our flail, we want holy damage, strength, vit, and then wrath, okay? Or cool, if you could get the wrath replaced with cooldown, that'd be even better. Okay, so that's the build, guys. As we always do, we're gonna go into a GR90 and I'm gonna showcase this for you. Um, the build is very, very strong, especially when you take out Guardian. See, we almost double here when we put the Guardian set active. So the build is very, very strong. Let's showcase it now. So how to play it is pretty simple, guys. You're just gonna Steed Charge, move up, and then just Fist of Heaven's damage. Pop Akras Champion and keep your Steel Skin up. Ooh, we want those. we want those things, man. Come here. Uh, keep laws always active for the mood speed and then uh, you can cast fist of fury if you really want to it doesn't do as much as you would like we're gonna lose a little bit of time on that but that's okay guys i wanted to get the the tokens there and as long as there's a lot of monsters around you're gonna be able to just kill everything now it's not gonna be as fast as the one from last season because we don't have the uh you know, the auto cast, which is really unfortunate that Blizzard didn't add it. I really wish they would have. But uh, as you can see, the build still absolutely destroys. It's still very, very strong. And consider, and with it being your Hadred's gift, you're going to be able to farm everything that you need right from the get. So my advice when playing the build is, is just kind of speed around. If you hit groups of monsters like this, cast Fist of, or, uh, Fist of the Heavens and then find the Elites. Okay, you don't want to waste with like one or two like that. Just let your your mount do all the damage. But if you can clump them up, definitely do that. That's where your bread and butter is going to be and just move through. Like you don't want to have too many things going. You just want to speed through it. The build is simple to play. It was actually one of my favorites from last season, which is awesome. Now, I think what we're going to end up getting is like a sub two and change is probably what we're going to get on this run. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. Because the build is still very fast. It's very tanky. You see our Aquila is always up. And if I can learn how to run this map, I would. So that way I don't look too bad when I'm running it to show off the speed for you guys. Which is unfortunate. But that's okay. Power rune. Let's, let's make up some time here. We're now we're going to be like two and a half minutes. That's okay though. <laughs> Unless we hit a string of elites. That would be cool. If we hit a string of elites. Wouldn't that be cool? Just hit a just hit a string of elites. We're doing trillions of damage. There we go, conduit. As you guys can see, the build just flows. It's so easy. Instead of having to stop and use Fajir all the time, you just clap. Yeah, two and a half minutes because I'm slow, guys. I'm bad at the game. So, uh, but 
the build is just so awesome man i think it's gonna be a really great build if you are gonna be playing crusaders next season i won't be although it was one of my favorite builds losing that um that auto cast really is a bummer yeah sub two and a half you can get two minutes the build is absolutely amazing guys so if you are running this um have fun with it it's probably going to be the best class of the crusader followed by condemned shortly after that probably but this build absolutely wrecks still it's still very very strong it just requires pretty much all these pieces in to be geared exactly right otherwise like you're going to lose some damage but it's okay but that is the build for the crusader guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like comment down below if you are a satyr main and you're going to be playing the crusader this season i won't be which sucks i wish i could but i can't i'm looking forward to playing like witch doctor or something weird but thank you guys for watching and as always stay gaming I'll catch you guys in the next one peace